It's always me. Or he flight. shouts and leaves <laughs> me. Flat white for me, hazelnut latte for the bubba. Good morning everybody and welcome to Shargao Day 4. Nico and I are currently having brunch at Baked. Here's my bubba. We're super burnt, but really happy. We don't want to leave. The plan is we're going to check out at 12 and then head to our next place, which is Bayud. Bayud is Nico's favorite. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos, and I am completely enamored with how beautiful it is. So I'm super excited. I think that's what's going to feel... I think that's what's going to feel the most like a honeymoon. I want to see the place. I want to eat the food. I want to hang out by the beach, work on my tan. Because as you can clearly see, there is no tan. What do you want to tell the vlog? We got the big breakfast, which is like beans, toast, eggs, spam, basically everything. And then Nico really wanted to get pancakes, so we got blueberry pancakes as well. I have a flat white, which is very good and filled to the brim. And Nico has got a hazelnut latte. When are we gonna go get guapita shirts? We have to get more. Before dinner. Sure. Okay. Sorry, he was still talking. <laughs> you have to speak louder. Tomorrow, we'll just go back to the spots that we had. Okay. Now stay here okay. Get more shirts. Yay! How does it feel now that we're together and I'm shoving a camera in your face all the time? Kaya <laughs> Paba? How's the hazelnut latte? Good. It's owned by Rachel Peters, right? Food's here and it looks great. Blueberry pancakes. Yum. And then this is the big breakfast. So it's toast, spam, bacon, beans, eggs, tomato. This looks like a good brunch, baby. All we're doing is eating. Eating and drinking. I want you to try the pancake and I'll get your reaction. Because you've been wanting pancakes. Let's see Nico's live taste test. It looks really good. So we're back at Chavo, packing up our stuff, ready to head to Bayud. Somebody is shaving, so he feels fresh and cool and clean. Fresh and so clean, so cool. yarn. I feel like I'm not drinking enough here. This always happens to me at the beach, I never drink enough water. Maybe it's because I'm surrounded by it. Riveting conversation. I'm wearing different necklaces today. These are still both from Love and Luna. You guys know how much I love Love and Luna. I'm also wearing these little gold hoops from them. They come with like these dangling bead attachments, which I'll probably use for dinner. No luck with the scooter. Nico wasn't able to find a big enough one. So I don't know if we're gonna be using the dirt bike because not gonna lie, it's a little expensive. We shall see. Nico's side, which I have lovingly fixed. And me. <laughs> to Bayud and this is just too cute. I've always wanted a like this because <laughs> you see it in like the Instagrams of celebrities. <laughs> Thank you, Bayud. This is so, so sweet. And Nico's first statement is...
Shout out to Rain. Rainier. Shout out to Rainier Barbers for the up. wonderful room. This is so, so sweet. We're staying in cottage mm. tent. Cottage villa house. Okay, Nico, you're gonna do the room tour. So, drying rack, like you said. We're gonna bring out the wet clothes. Outdoor area. Slippers. Fit you. This is our wonderful bed with the swans that I don't want to touch, so I guess we're not sleeping on this bed. Lovely little uh, mosquito net curtain situation. Props to Bayoud. There's a sanitation kit, baby. It's got everything. We should see what's in this. Ooh, cotton buds, hygienics, face shields, cleansing wipes, tissue paper, classy Bayoud. TV over here. A kettle, some bottled water, coffees, and then... Oh, did I mention we're in a an elevated part? So just step. Excuse me. Window. Got a cute little closet. Aw, very nice. Hanging. Baby, you want to take them to the bathroom? Say hi, MTV. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Free toothbrush. Hey, nothing but class. Outdoor shower. Ooh, stop. This is awesome. Outdoor shower. Toilet with bidet. Muy importante. Ooh, I'm a mosquito. <laughs> Killer and a tiny little thing. This is what I'm wearing and my Levi's 501 shorts again. I think the plan for today is we're gonna enjoy this resort. We're gonna put on our aqua socks finally. I haven't gotten to wear mine, which is why I've actually got a wound on my right toe. And we're gonna explore the beachfront part. Buy it is beautiful. It's literally what the pictures look like. Sorry if it's a little fogged. It's really cold in the room. Just came back from my pool dip and <laughs> Why didn't you move the swans? <laughs> Someone's gonna take a nap. Alma and we don't have a reservation <laughs> yeah everyone recommends it but we don't have a reservation so we have to leave by 6 30. <laughs> what time is it? kitchen opens at 5. Tethering, you should come here at like sunset time if you like it we can make first serve and come back tomorrow sounds like a plan love we couldn't find it at the start because it's like really hidden Alma serves Spanish food, so they have tapas, sangria, there's paella, lots of yummy, yummy stuff. I'm not feeling too good. I feel a little queasy. I don't know why. Hopefully, some food and water will change that. My handsome date. Oh, okay. Okay, you feeling it? So, while we were here, we overheard a conversation and what? Thank you. Gorgonzola croquetas. Somebody canceled. We overheard because we're literally the only ones in the restaurant. And we overheard the hostess and somebody canceled. So, it looks like we can stay longer. Guys, this is the trippiest thing. The thing is, Nico was the one who noticed it. It's the moon. It's so scary. It's giving me major werewolf vibes. Good eye, babe. Kanina, di ba, parang konti lang show. Yeah, a while ago, it was literally just half, not even half, like a quarter of it. It's hidden pa sa mountain. Now it's just rising up. 
Looks cool, baby. What banana? Sorry, we haven't been vlogging much today. We literally just took a nap this afternoon and then we left for dinner at Alma, which you would have seen. And then we went shopping. Nico got a shirt from a souvenir shop and then we went to White Banana for some drinks where we saw the blood harvest moon and we got matching shirts. Look at our shirts. Korean. We're Korean. Oh, annyeonghaseyo. We're gonna take a shower and then we've got a TV. Oh, baby, take it off. <laughs> we actually have cable in this room. Nico also got another shirt. Show them, baby. Fashion show. And Nico got this one from this souvenir shop. Oh, it's just really simple. That's nice. We'll wash it when we get home. And here's all our junk, which you shouldn't see. We did not take any of our vitamins. <gasps> Food network. Later that same evening. I had the most traumatizing night of my life. Whenever I say in vlogs or on Instagram that it's always me, I'm always that person. The person who there's an insect in their food, they get injured in the most random of ways, in the most random of places. It's always me. We have to tell them what exactly happened because I am exhausted. Because you can't record Okay, that. I always tell Nico, you can shower ahead. He took a shower, you know, wonderful, nice shower. And then I take a shower. I'm in the middle of my shower, I'm enjoying myself it's rain style shower but from the corner of my eye I see something moving I look and it's a giant spider it's a giant spider and we all know how I love spiders I do not by the way that was sarcasm so I scream takes him a while but he rushes into the bathroom and I tell him it's a spider and the whole time he's like so do we kill it do we kill it the night before there was an epis in our bathroom in the other hotel so he didn't kill he didn't kill the epis spiders are vengeful anyway he didn't kill the spider so I was trying my best to rinse my body without going near said spider who by the way was making his way towards me I don't know why I attract these kinds of things I don't know by the way I started crying and I became catatonic because I was so scared of the spider and what does this guy do he laughs he laughs the whole time as in he just laughs the whole time while I'm there crying I'm literally crying because I'm so afraid and he's just laughing at me laughing at me the whole time so anyway I tell him not to leave so I'm there trying to rinse my body in the most awkward of movements and then all of a sudden power goes off everything so <laughs> what in ensues is basically a testament to our marriage of one month. What happens when the power goes out completely? For the she flight. shouts and leaves me stark <laughs> naked, soaking wet, inside the shower with, with, with a giant spider. You shouted so loud. <laughs> he literally... I think I, I yeah, he literally went <laughs> and instead of grabbing his already crying naked one. But he like, leaves but like, me. But like, People react differently. And Why you didn't you out. get me and run? He Survival saved mode. him. <laughs> so much How for can I save you? so much for those wedding vows. I will think of your needs before mine. Nope. He literally, when the power went off, shouted and ran out and I shouted. <laughs> Crying, soaking wet, still soapy. What does he do? He runs out. In fairness, the money comes back for me because there's a flashlight. Na siya. Oh, and what does he do? He grabs me. Come on, get out! <laughs> Thank God for the security and the staff here at Bayud because oh, it's so dangerous. they <laughs> gave us another room. So that's why we're in a different... You look naked, look. Whoa, look at your tan! So we're in a different room now and I am freshly bathed and exhausted because that was an emotional roller coaster. What a great way to end of the day. So yeah, that was my five minute story time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow.
meanwhile. everybody it's a beautiful sunny morning here in Chargao it's our last day today our last full day at least tomorrow we fly back to Manila which to be completely honest I'm both sad and happy about happy because of course when I get back I'll isolate for a bit and then I can go see my mom and kebab because Trina leaves for the States on Wednesday so I'm not gonna be seeing her until she actually gets back I'm excited to see them but I'm really sad to leave I get what Nico was saying that you know you come here and it's just so different. The pace is so different. Everybody's really chill. It's just such a wonderful vibe to be around. Especially, you know, in the middle of this entire pandemic, I feel very privileged to be able to say, oh, you know, I can take a break and I can go here and, you know, forget about the city and whatever. Nico and I already know we're gonna come back. I really, really want to come back because I feel like there are so many more places that we need to visit and we need to see and we need to experience. Nico's actually on his way to get us some pan de coco from those little stalls. They're really good. <laughs> Unlike the pan de cocos in Manila where there's super little coconut. The moment you bite into these baby breads, it's just filled with smoky coconut jam and it's absolutely delicious. Then we're gonna have breakfast together. I'm just wearing a dress. I'm just gonna relax here and wait for him. He brought the GoPro, so I'm sure he's gonna have some interesting footage for you guys. <laughs> What is pan de surf? Pan de surf. Is it just? There's no pan de gofo. So it's pan de sal, but it's in this form. In the shape I of a surfboard? Surfboard and wood. Some pan de surf. Surf. Mmm. Fresh. Fresh. So Nick, you got with the Sino, sunny side up eggs and garlic rice. And I got, as for Lisa's recommendation, Spanish sardines which look so good. I also got garlic rice and poached egg. This breakfast though. Where are we going now, baby? Santa Fe. I heard it's good in Hawaii. All right, we're going to Santa Fe, which is another beachy area. And then there's a Hawaiian restaurant called Haole. Everyone says it's super, super good. I'm in an all-white outfit. <laughs> We made the burnt journey, the left side of both our bodies burnt, but it's okay. We've stopped in, where are we, baby? Which is Vietnamese. And we met the owner. She's legit Vietnamese. Little sad that Haole is closed on Mondays and this is like when we decided to go, but it's fine. That just means we have to come back here. Nico and I are just chilling. He's gonna have a basil mojito here. See, 
that is the goal. All of them are working from home, but here. Back in Bayud after a crazy fun day with my vlogger husband. <laughs> yeah. The weather has been so good, so I'm gonna try my best to get as much of a tan as possible. Nico and I are going to go to the beach and work on our tans. I'm gonna get the tanning water, you know what I'm saying, though? I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know how to zoom in. Nico is using a paddle board. Wow. We're trying to dry our clothes outside last minute before we leave for the airport, so that's not fun. Salva! Are you done? Mm -hmm. 